Hello everyone, this is my studio. It's a little bit of a grand title. In my original plans, I wrote down that I wanted a rustic workspace that I could bang nails into and I could feel comfortable with. So previously I had a bivouac in the back garden and a, and a shed that was so crammed full of things that I couldn't actually get inside it. So I took out everything that was inside the shed and used to uh, build outwards and to create this space. So I had literally hundreds of picture frames and I used them to create the windows. So there's 33 windows that uh, are all made out of picture frames. It's all got its own off-grid solar power system. And it's got its own little log fire and uh, I got a toasting fork for Christmas so I can make my own toast now. So yeah, this is the space where I can hang things up as I choose. So here we are, my little sheep, my musicians. Lots of the things I do have are based on memories, often of historical places. The objects that I make, are, I think of them as artifacts. So I spent much of my youth wandering around the museums of London. I think that's a cat on the roof. What are you doing up there? And there's the inscribed 2020 brick to show the date of construction. And here is a path made from what's really ancient brick and tile collected from the edges of the field that have been ploughed up over the generations are really representative of the path that I took on the fields walking in lockdown. As we've been getting so much rain lately, I've kind of had to make the outside of the studio very much like a boat. You see it's painted with black bitumen paint. The whole process hasn't been without dramas, but it's nice it's all up now and I have a space to work so when this is all over when we're all allowed out you're very welcome to come down and have some toast